Hello everyone, you're in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video I want to tell you what to do and how to deal with the corrupt firmware on your board. So a lot of makers and a lot of enthusiasts, they prefer and they like to change their firmware on their machines. So this is a Alex Maker A3 uh, uh, engraving machine with pre-installed 8.5 watt Endurance Laser. And here is a, a mana board. Um, that is uh, commonly used one stepper, uh, one Arduino, and two stepper motor drivers. So, what to do if you have problems with your firmware? Okay, first of all, you can solder uh, your TTL wires directly to D11 and the ground. So, this is all set. In this uh, construction, our 8.5 watt laser has an uh, endurance MO board because we need an external power supply. This board doesn't provide enough power, so that's why we need to feed our laser externally. So, once you're done with soldering, you can move to uh, your uh, software and to your computer and actually upload a new software. So we recommend to use a software called Xloader. Then you check uh, the speed, 70, uh, 57k uh, bitrate. Uh, you can also use different parameters here. And once you're ready, just select a firmware. So we recommend uh, as a universal uh, firmware is Gerbil 1.1 version. You can find it on our website, endurancelasers.com. Go to Download Center and you're all set. Once you upload it, you are able to do laser engravings and laser cuttings in different programs. Okay, let's start with a program called uh, Engraver Master. So this is a pretty simple software. So the power you can change is here um, by scrolling from left to the right. So on the left is minimum power, on the right is maximum. So then you have to save your settings. Okay, and let's engrave the cow with a minimum power. So it uh, goes like this. Don't forget to wear goggles while laser engraving, even if it's low power. And you see the Arduino board is working, right? And the laser is working. Uh, minimum power, the fan is not turning on because you don't need it. Uh, so it's probably less than one uh, watt, probably like even less than half watt laser power. And like I said, we use external power supply, 12 volts, uh, 5 amps for this unit. Okay, so we, we're done. And we're going to make it uh, full power. Uh, also changing it here. You can actually change the power even while you do engraving. Just in the in the min, in the middle of process, but don't forget to save settings. Okay, now you can engrave it full power. Okay, so you see uh, the fan is working, and you can uh, see smoke. So it means that the laser is of full power. I, I think you can even see it here uh, via camera. So pretty powerful. It'll be very very intensive. So once again, um, this is used when you have problems with your original firmware and you need to solder this case. It's not difficult to solder, don't worry, just a couple seconds and you're all set. Okay, let, uh, let us show you the result. Okay, you can see it. Okay, and let's run another software called uh, GRBL. Uh, GRBL, uh, laser GRBL, actually, the one. Uh, okay, but this is going to run it. So, uh, this original firmware is good for uh, many other solutions, so they are all free. But um, if you want uh, some more advanced, you can check out TT Laser, it's our partner. Zach is very supportive, Zach is very supportive, and you can also use our plugins for Inkscape or GTech Photonics in, uh, plugin for Inkscape to generate the G code. But these solutions are good for like beginners uh, and uh, good for changing parameters uh, pretty quickly. So um, here you set up minimum power and maximum power. So this is not like in percentage, probably some something in between. So 10 will be like the minimum, 1000 will be maximum. Uh, so and uh, you can also change different fillings uh, of the image. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so we didn't 
to button put it. Oops. Okay. Well, anyway, you see that it's minimum power. Uh, the laser is uh, doesn't generate a lot of smoke, uh, but uh, works okay. Yeah, sorry, we didn't. <laughs> we missed a little bit uh, with the construction. Okay, but uh, yeah, just to show you in general that you can change laser power. So, and let's make another image with full power. So. Uh, here we generate another G-code, just the same or another image. When we generate the G-code, we set up here uh, like 1000 something. Okay. Get ready and you will see that it burns much, much more intensive. So that was uh, just the general purpose of this video, just to let you know how you can actually adjust uh, laser power and how you can solve your case with um, firmware. So don't be upset. Uh, also, we are very, you're very welcome to email me directly, gf at or text me plus seven nine uh, one six two two five four three zero two, and I'll be ready to assist you. Also, have fun with endurance lasers. They're quite powerful. We have 8.5, 10, 10 plus, and 20 watt lasers. And uh, so let me show you the result really quickly so you could see that uh, this actually is working so different power different uh, results so hope that you like this video please share it with your friends subscribe on our channel and have fun and wonderful laser engraving experience with us bye bye